Hey guys, it's uh, Colonel Marsa, day uh, 528. Uh, still stuck in phase three. Uh, day 39, uh, whoopee. With, that, with the higher 639 Colonel Marsa case, uh, starting off with Monday, and yeah. Very alarming. And of course, uh, the majority of them are like unvaccinated. Uh, mm -hmm. No surprise there. Uh huh. Yep. 124 uh, from Toronto. No surprise there either. 97 from the Peel region. 91 from York region. Uh, 64 from Hamilton. And 36 from Windsor Essex region. All other regions are reported under uh, 35. No deaths. So uh, we just need a 0 0.1 percent uh, more to like be move on to phase four. Mm -hmm. So the how long we might be uh, pushed back, uh, and uh, the reason why they're not uh, uploading variant uh, cases right now is because of technical difficulties. Uh, so, yep. So, uh, so you can still see the August nineteenth uh, number. So what I what I wanted to talk about was. Uh, Topic was uh, the, as of this this week's topic uh, to start it off on uh, Monday and uh, to and it could also affect uh, on Tuesday too. Uh, 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 up to seven thousand people uh, uh, attended uh, uh, Ontario baseball the basketball tournament. And actually, uh, I don't know how uh, seven thousand people are actually allowed to uh, go to a basketball tournament and that many numbers. Uh, but yeah, that uh, that happened. So, of course, a coronavirus outbreak happened. So Durham Durham Region Health uh, Unit uh, is urging anyone who attended the 43rd annual Jane and Finch Classic uh, Basketball Tournament, which is held at the playground uh, global facility in Oshawa from August 3rd to August 8th, uh, to get tested immediately. So uh, to date, 20 coronavirus cases have been associated with events including infections from Quebec, Peter Region, Toronto, and Durham Region. So uh, the Durham region uh, stated uh, an out outbreak has I had declared for this event. So uh, yep. So health officials uh, they're like uh, they're having a uh, difficulty reaching all the players and spectators because they're trying to reach out to the, all of them to like notify them that this happened and uh, they should be careful. So Dr. Robert uh, Kyle. Uh, Durham, uh, Durham Region uh, Medical Officer of Health, uh, the, he said uh, Durham Region is uh, trying to reach out to everybody right now and uh, it's very important that individuals who participated in this basketball tournament to get tested as soon as possible. So the 7,000 uh, people who attended that basketball game uh, include the team members, coaching staff, and also people, uh, spectators, uh, who are watching that uh, basketball game, so that there's uh, that issue. <laughs> and I tell ya, every time uh, there's something like, well, uh, happens uh, with a large number of people at a, large, at a place uh, and it's uh, sort of uncontrollable and people are like, very close to each other, chances are an outbreak always happens and uh, high chance of the coronavirus cases and also chances of uh, some of these people getting a uh, variant cases uh, and uh, yeah
So if you're in uh, Durham region uh, for any reason, uh, just be careful. Especially if uh, you're in, uh, you know, in, in Oshawa for any specific reason. So be careful. So hospitalization, uh, yeah. <laughs> Two hundred four uh, people are in uh, hospitalized with the uh, coronavirus. Uh, right now, one hundred fifty one ICU patients, uh, and I uh, one hundred and uh, fifty one. And then 121 uh, ICU patients uh, using a ventilator, so yeah. A majority of the ICU patients are uh, uh, using a ventilator. But, uh, yeah. Long, so, uh, long term care home, the death. Um, Unlike yesterday, the uh, two days ago. Still stuck at uh, three hundred nine thousand seven hundred ninety-three. Thirteen. The stop test. Mm -hmm. It's jumped up to three from uh, two. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, coronavirus, follow coronavirus safety rules and regulations that phase uh, three rules on um, so phase four actually happens. Uh, well, if yeah, I got to see, get their approval for that. Because of uh, high cases, uh, which is uh, one, ma one major cause that could uh, be stalling us, even though uh, we might uh, get met all the expectations, like, you know, three weeks past, uh, fully prepared. 80% got their first vaccine shot, and 75% got, got fully vaccinated. Oh yeah, that's the only reason that's going to hold us back.